What's going on guys, Ryan here. Once again, what we are going to be discussing today is in my opinion, one of the most popular and still continue to be one of the most up and coming supplements in the industry right now, and that is the use of branched chain amino acids. So today we're going to discuss uh, really quickly kind of what they are and how to use them and some of my favorites that you guys can maybe use in your regimen to kind of get where you're trying to go. So really quickly, what are branched chain amino acids? Uh, there are 20 amino acids in total that your body's going to use, half of them being essential and the other half being non-essential. Uh, so when an amino acid is non-essential, your body can synthesize and use it through uh, the, the body's processes for their primary functions. And then the essential amino acids, and in this case, the branched chain amino acids, uh, your body needs to synthesize those through the intake of your diet, or in today's case, supplementation. So it, it's very, very essential that your body uh, needs these every day, um, and in the most popular cases for the supplement industry to help rebuild and hopefully gain more um, lean muscle mass. So the three branching amino acids are going to be leucine, isoleucine, and valine. And the reason that they are so popular is that a lot of research has been shown that they're actually the most abundant in a lot of our muscle cells to help increase the rate of rebuilding muscle cells and, and causing the, the production of hypertrophy to increase. Now the timing of the intake of this uh, is really varies quite a bit, um, but Honestly, as long as you're consuming them on a regular basis, day in and day out, uh, that's really all you need to do. Um, a lot of people, some of the most popular times to do it are before fasted cardio, which is an argument within itself, depending on who you ask. Um, really, what I'd like to do myself is first thing in the morning, I'll just sit down and I'll have my breakfast and I'll have uh, some aminos in a cup just for, it tastes good and it goes good with breakfast, delivering some amino acids quickly. Uh, for my body in that point in the day. You also see a lot of people that have amino acids in a really big water drug um, and they'll just kind of carry that with them throughout the workout, throughout the entire day, which um, is fine. You can add a higher amounts of aminos and, and have slower delivery as you drink that amount of water throughout the whole day. Or you can just choose to um, have about three to five grams of aminos just uh, intake either like pre-workout, intra-workout, or post-workout is a very good time uh, to consume those as well. Another very common usage of amino acids is for individuals that are in a caloric deficit just due to the fact that obviously they're not consuming very many calories at all so it is important for their body to undergo recovery process without the added calories uh, in their diet so that's where they lean on products like BCAAs quite a bit just due to the fact that they still get the recovery process without uh, the, the sacrifice of adding these unwanted calories at the time. So honestly, uh, whether it's worth it for you to purchase something like this, anywhere ranging from a price range of about 25 bucks all the way up to upwards of 60, $70, depending on the brand and, and where you purchase the product from. Um, I think it's worth it to an extent. Uh, obviously, you don't wanna be dishing out a whole lot of money for this because then you're really kind of taking a stretch whether you need it or not. Um, if, if you're able to afford it and, and comfortably afford it, then absolutely more power to you. It is gonna help with recovery just a little bit more. But if, you, if you're in a surplus as far as diet goes and you're consuming an adequate amount of protein, uh, you're not in a dire need to add a supplement like branched chain amino acids um, and also a lot of supplements in that case. Now some of the products you're gonna be seeing here that I'm showing you is right now as far as social media goes probably one of the more popular BCAAs is the one by Mansports um, just due to the fact that it has this really popular flavoring system which uh, me personally it is really good um, it mixes really well it, it even mixes clear um, so that's a kind of a unique part about it and the flavoring system is really unique it has a really strong in some cases like candy flavoring which I could see being a little too much for some people but all in all, a very, very good uh, supplement. If there is one downfall, it's due to the fact that you're only getting about two grams of BCAAs per scoop, um, but their theory behind that is um, it's so much of an iso amino, so you get uh, a better quality of amino acid per scoop. Um, so that's the one I actually use quite a bit right now, and you guys can see a discount link uh, in the description below if you guys wanna check that out, you're more than welcome to. 
One of the ones I've also taken uh, for a while with breakfast is the Alpha Amino Extreme because it has about 100 milligrams of caffeine per scoop as well as about five grams of amino acids in there as well. Another decent one is the amino acid by BSN, um, a very high uh, dosage of amino acids actually, uh, but it is more of a blend, which I, as far as supplements go, I try to stay away from quite a bit because blends you can get uh, into a mix up of how much are you actually getting uh, per dosage of that actual product. All in all, if you guys choose to do BCAAs, it is going to help a little bit as far as promoting a little bit more recovery and a little bit more muscle growth, which if that is a big thing for you, then again, if you're willing to spend the money, go ahead and do it. But I appreciate you guys checking in to, with today's video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. It's going to help get the channel out there, get things rolling. Um, until next time, you guys take care.